Hi, are you a baker wondering when you should use sugar syrup on your cake? In this video, I'll be covering the various types of cakes that need sugar syrup and when to use it and when not to use it. Hi everyone, this is Maureen Bilha Kamari, founder of Amari Baking Center and author of How to Start Up a Small Baking Business. In this channel, we offer baking tips and cake decoration tips, so if this is something you're interested in, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So in this video, I want to discuss syrups and when to use them on cake and whether you should use them. So number one, just defining what that is. A syrup is basically a mixture of water and sugar and sometimes flavoring is added, like maybe you can use berries, you can use strawberries, raspberries, to make this kind of syrup that's very, very flavored. However, you can actually just do sugar syrup where you boil some sugar and some water until it completely dissolves and then you cool it and you have a syrup. Now the reason why people use syrup is most of the time to moisten their cake. So this is when you cut your cake in half, we call that torting. And then what you do is you actually dab on some syrup, maybe on both sides of your cake. You can use a spoon with this or you can use a pastry brush. Now the thing is, these days bakers are wetting all their cakes. And usually you want to do this only with dry cakes. You don't specifically have to do them with all types of cakes. For example, our butter cake recipes for Amari tend to be very, very moist. So if you choose to wet them with some syrup, you end up with a very soggy cake. So I'd tell you one of the times you want to look at when should I add sugar syrup to my cake is, is your cake generally a dry cake? If it is, then add it. But if not, it is not always necessary. The other reason that you can use sugar syrup sometimes, especially when it comes to custom cakes or wedding cakes that are staying long, is to actually add on the shelf life of cake. So yes, sugar is actually sometimes used as a preservative, and if you know your cake is gonna stay for long, you might wanna dab on some sugar syrup on there. However, again, if your cake recipe is very, very moist, you may not be able to do that because it's gonna end up being sort of like this soggy mess. So you do wanna look at when you do that. So when we're using our recipes, generally we tell our students or we tell bakers to generally use a syrup on a sponge cake. There are sponge cakes that tend to be quite dry and those tend to absorb syrup so much better and you get a better result. So that's when I want to tell you to use syrup. Don't use it when you have a moist butter cake. Use it when you're using um, like a sponge cake or something that's dry that's gonna need that moistening in there. So I want to give you guys an example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you guys two types of cake, a chocolate sponge cake. This is made with a bisque method. And then I'm gonna show you a chocolate butter cake. This has like um, fat and a sugar. And then you're gonna see the differences between the two of them. And then later on, I'm gonna show you how you can wet your sponge cake um, if you're looking to do that, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna cut my chocolate butter cake. I'm just gonna cut it in half so you guys see how it looks like. So that's very moist as you can see, guys. It's a very moist cake and there is no need to actually wet it. So I'm cutting the chocolate sponge cake with a bisque in it and this is also looking a little bit moist. But if I was to touch this, you can tell that there is a difference in texture for both of them. My final note on butter cakes is that some people do tend to make drier butter cakes, especially if you're somebody who makes custom cakes and you need them dry because you want them to hold that shape. If this is the type of butter cakes you do, then yes, at that point you do want to wet that cake with some syrup. So there are instances where butter cakes do tend to be dry, you want them compact and you can use sugar syrup on them. But generally you want to make sure you're doing this on the sponge cakes and not on the butter cakes. And most of your butter cakes, especially for the single 
but like three or four layered cakes, you do want those quite moist where they don't need a syrup. However, you can use a filling in between them, like a berry filling or something like that, or your frosting, so that it you know adds on to that moisture. But generally, your butter cake should be nice and moist. So I hope this video has helped you. If you need any more tips on sugar syrup or you have any more questions on cakes, please comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.